thank you very much, Pastor, for sharing in this conversation. Yes, um, right. My first question to you is, can you give me a little bit of a brief history yeah, yeah. about the Church of God's Seventh Day yeah. at the Philippines? Okay. Uh, as far as I know, the Church of the Seventh Day started in the Philippines. We were back 1938, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. with an American uh, fellow who came here uh, in the name of Charles, uh, Charles, I forgot his name, okay, yeah. his first name is Charles. Yeah. Then uh, the first, let us say, first uh, uh, brethren who uh, operates this church is in Lanao del Norte, okay, in, my, yeah. in my own province, yeah, in Lanao yeah. del Norte. Then uh, almost all the pastors uh, who became converted in this church mm. came from the Seventh-day Adventists. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay, then uh, they heard the message from mm. America. Then they accepted the message of salvation uh, 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 brought out by the Church of the People there in America. Mm. Then uh, many of them were baptized. So the Church of the Seventh day here in the Philippines started in Simpak, uh, Barangay Simpak, Lala, Lanao del Norte, in my okay. own hometown. Okay, okay yeah. Uh, oh, wow. Then the, those people I mentioned uh, that was baptized there in Simpak, they scattered uh, far away. Yes. Some uh, goes to Bukidnon, some goes here in Cagayan de Rosa City. Yeah, yeah. Uh, some in uh, Luzon, something like that. So the, the, the leaders uh, were scattered uh, with themselves. But fortunately, uh, the connection is still there. Mm. Okay, leaders, leaders uh, have changed almost every two years. The, the, the leaders uh, will change. But fortunately, fortunately, uh, these days, uh, the Church of God Seventy in the Philippines uh, have become very strongly, yeah, yeah, yeah. well united well cooperated hallelujah and with the grace of god now we can observe that the church uh, growth is very fast we can we can say that this is a very fast growing church yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. with the use of our let us say uh, new methods new yeah. strategies in yeah. preaching yeah. and we we uh, we have tried ourselves to follow the the so-called great commission in the scripture yes. to yes. preach the gospel yes so by the help of the uh, let us say senior pastors. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, we have conducted a Bible school. We call it BTI, yeah. Bible Training Institute. Then, uh, fortunately, I am one of the teacher <laughs> yeah, yeah. because I also graduated. I also graduated my Bible studies in Luzon. Yeah, yeah. yeah with the help of uh, uh, the foreign mission in person of uh, Pastor say Brother Colter. Oh yes, Elder Colter. Uh, yes, yeah. of course. Yes. Yeah. Uh, he went into our place. Yes. Yeah. And uh, we met each other there. Then he promised to my father that, are you interested to go to Bible school? Mm. Then I said, I said to him, yes, yes, yeah. I, 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 I want, I, I, I like. Then he told me that, okay, you try to look for a Bible school here in the Philippines, then we will try to support you. That's why, uh, Pastor John, uh, I am. I consider myself as one of the first, uh, fortunate pastors here because yeah. I really graduated my you know, Bible school four years, mm -hmm. four years, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, that's why uh, the uh, my co-pastors now also trusted me, yeah. especially in our doctrines. Yeah. Okay, they trusted me uh, that uh, I can. Let us say I can teach uh, other pastors, yeah. especially the young Have pastors. Have most of the pastors here in the Philippines gone through by experienced Bible school? No, yeah. no. There are some. There are yeah. some. Uh, during my time, yeah. uh, this, this uh, for example, the chairman, Pastor John, Pastor Willie, yes. yes. Pastor Alan Canonigo, Pastor Edison Biaco, yes. I think 12 of them, they are all my students. Okay. Yeah, okay. together, okay. together with Pastor Mike. Yeah. Pastor Mike is my co teacher during yeah. that time in yeah. uh, year back 1998, yeah. uh, 1998, like yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, so. So, how many, how many church congregations do you have in the Philippines now? Uh, 80 plus. 80 plus? Yeah, yeah. yeah 80 plus. Yeah. 84. And what would your membership here be in the Philippines? Uh, Pastor John uh, told me, uh, based on the, you know, based on the uh, attendance of the Lord's Supper, yes, yes. Uh, he told me that uh, almost 8,000 okay, uh, 8, okay. yeah. uh, throughout, throughout the Philippine archipelago, yeah, yeah. Uh, Visayas region, the Mindanao, uh, Mindanao region yes. and the Luzon. 
Mm. Yeah. So we are now, let us say, growing faster yeah. with the use of the new strategies yes. in uh, presenting the gospel. Yeah. 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 So well, you've certainly grown, and now this is your 62nd general conference here. Pardon? This is the 62nd yeah, this general is the conference. Second. Yeah. And this is also my age. <laughs> oh, right. I, yeah. on, on June 3, I am also 62nd. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it's fortunate. <laughs> How okay. many baptized members then make up the 8,000 plus people? How many baptized? Baptized members, yeah. Mm. I cannot let us say estimate. Maybe. Uh, those 8,000 are all baptized. Okay, okay, okay they're then all fine. Baptized, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's very encouraging. Well, God's been mm -hmm. doing a, a really good work. Mm -hmm. um, what would you say, if you look back in the last so many years, are the strengths that God okay. has developed, the characteristic strengths of the church yeah, in the Philippines? Yeah, yeah. I can say something. I can, I, know, I can say many things about that. Yeah. Uh, there, are, there, there is a big difference you know, between the, the leadership, leadership before yeah. And the leadership today. Okay. The leaders, leadership before, uh, they are more on, let us say, uh, uh, policies. Yeah. Then uh, the system of teachings more on just Bible, uh, what can we find in the Bible. Yeah. Then just uh, let us say uh, expose the verse, something like that. Uh -huh. uh, unlike today, that we, we also. We also uh, receiving books from, uh, for example, the Bible Advocate. Yes. Or books, the, the, especially that book, the one that I translated, the, this is my, uh, uh, this we believe book. Oh, right. Yeah, yes. this we yes. believe book. Yeah. I tra I've translated already. Okay. Yeah, in, yeah. in our own dialect. Okay. Of the dialect how, much did, how much work did it take you to translate this we believe? Well, uh, they, they gave me, uh, what do you mean, how much the... How the, much time did it take? Ah, time. Well, uh, I think one month is too long. Oh. Uh, I can easily translate. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I, I can't easily, let's say, uh, understand in something like this because of the system you use, you pronounce the, yes. Uh, yes. the, no, the word, something yeah. like that. But yeah. when, I will, when I will read, I can easily, okay. let's say, grasp okay. Yes, okay. 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 So that's it. Uh, they gave me time one month to translate, yep. and it was already finished. Okay, okay, yeah, that's already finished. So uh, hopefully next, uh, no, next conference, mm. uh, it is already uh, bound in the book form. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now we were talking know, earlier a moment ago about strengths. Yeah. And you were strength. comparing the past with the yeah, future, yeah, yeah. the current. What is yeah. the current strengths now? Yeah, the current strength uh, now depends on what you have, let us say, feed us. Okay. So yeah. we we look at very, let us say. Very timely, very, let's say, very, uh, what we call it, uh, it will serve, it will serve the, the need of the people yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before, before, uh, uh, pastors are only depending on what they have, let's say, what they have learned in the scripture directly, yeah. personal, personal uh, yeah. opinion, something like that. Not like today, mm. that many heads, uh, for, uh, gladly to say, that your let us say your lessons there that you have given unto us here yeah. very very suit on our mm. thinking so that's why we are happy yeah wow we can see wow this is really uh, this is really what we need yeah the for example the presentation of the this one the, uh, yes. the, the, the ten, uh, ten point vision yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. So how long have you had the 10-point vision to, here? Yeah, about 2000. Okay, yeah. 2000, yeah. 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 2000. So we have, we have studied that. We, yeah. have, we have, let us say... Uh, and how has the congregation received the 10-point vision? Before, before, many, many reacted. Uh, they don't want to be changed. Uh, you know, changes. You should have to, to, <laughs> yeah. to break something <laughs> in order for them to be changed. But later on, Especially this and all these uh, systems of worship. Yeah. Yeah, this jolly style. Is, <laughs> they could not receive that before. But now you can see people, almost all of them, they are now particip participating yeah. in the systems of worship. Yeah. Fully accepted. If you have, which of the 10 points, the Christ centered, spirit formed, Sabbath celebrating, Bible based, compassionate and in service, you know, engaging in witness, mm -hmm. committed to discipleship, there's 10 of them. Which is the easiest one that you'd find which would be easiest to preach on? Uh -huh. Someone said, choose one, which is the subject that you have in your heart. Yeah. The, uh, about the gospel, the, 
the Christ Center. Okay, yeah. The big yeah. Christ Center. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because uh, most of the pastors they said, no, we don't have to to accept the Christ Center only because we are also church centered or something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. But we explain unto them this is the way, uh, this is the reason why we 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 conclude or we accepted ourselves as Christ Center church. Yeah. Well, of course, we are also uh, church centered, but that's that is not what we want. We wanted for. Because yeah. it should be Christ that uh, will be the center in our lives. That's right. Oh. Yeah. Then once we accepted Christ, it will be placed, it will be put there in the church. That's <laughs> right. Like exactly. That. Exactly. Okay. Which so, of those ten point vision statements you find you'd rather less preach, you find more difficult to think through or work through, or you'd find less your gifting to talk about? Well, I think with regards to the stand, there's no less. <laughs> they are all important. <laughs> they are. Look, I agree. I agree. But some, some of them are harder to preach on. Um, you know, some people have a gift for evangelism, so they would preach on evangelism straight yeah, away. Uh -huh. And others might think, well, it's a bit harder for me to work through. Uh -huh. you know? yeah. What's your... What's your concerns for the church in the Philippines as involved in pastoral care, you know, where you see there's more work to be done? Mm -hmm. Well, my most concern is all about training. Yeah. We really need to have the Bible school. Yeah. Because uh, uh, I want to train the pastors in a way, in a system, in a, let us say, new scheme of preaching. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, it really helps on fast evangelism, yeah, yeah. Uh, the system, okay? So we can only implement that to the pastors if we have school. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's why I have been here during my, uh, during my lecture that, you know, I, I also graduated at the subject argumentation and debate. Yeah. I, I included it, it in our select curriculum. Yes. Not, not for the purpose of, let us say, debating, yeah. but I want, you know, I want every pastor of knowledge about argumentation and with for the purpose in properly let us say implementing yeah. the the system yes. on how to preach the gospel or the good news yeah. that's my you know that's my uh, let us say uh, purpose and what's and your gladly you go on yeah go on I, I'm, I'm so glad that most of the leaders also my co-pastors they you know they accepted the the, uh, mm. the, the plans. Yeah, oh, that's good. So once we will be having a Bible school, uh, probably this, this in this place in you know, because this is the center mm. in Nepal. Mm. So probably I will include that subject, argumentation and the subject, because it is very important how how to deal, how to answer questions yes. like what we are doing now. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, how to let us say how to to the most important thing how to present our doctrines. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Because uh, if you if you do not have let us say exact knowledge about uh, doing so doing those things, it maybe it will go like that, yes, like that. Hard to understand. Yeah. Hard to understand. Yeah. But we know that people of today, especially here in the Philippines, hmm. they are so so curious of how let us say how authentic uh, of the things that you are going to teach unto them. Yeah. yeah. And they need proof. Yeah. They need let us say uh, they need uh, some let us say. Uh, uh, proof, as I would say, yeah. proof from the scripture that our teachings is really, really true. Okay, and it's good. We are Bible-based, Bible-based church. Yeah, and therefore it's only Bible and Bible alone that we can uh, prove unto them that these things are true. Okay, that's good. Um, if we just go back in history, um, were you always part of the Church of God Seventh Day, or did you come to Christ from a different journey? Pardon? Were you always a part of the Church of God Seventh Day, mm -hmm. or did you come to Christ through a different denomination and church? Mm -hmm. We I? heard there were some people from Seventh Day Adventists mm -hmm. who've come to the Church of God Seventh Day mm -hmm. and other denominations. Mm -hmm. Have you always been a part of the Church of God Seventh Day? Yeah. 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 Uh, I I always meet people like those. Unfortunately. Uh, they are also eager, they are, they, they are also happy to know our teachings as Church of the Seventh Day. Yeah. Even those people in Church of the Seventh Day, uh, the, most, the most, let us say, uh, uh, problem doctrine is a lot of trainees and trainees, something like that. Uh, the, the, the day when, when Jesus died, when Jesus rose up from the dead, something like that. Yeah. So many of our neighbors uh, who belong to the Church of the Seventh Day Adventists, they are 
happy to hear our yeah. teachings about that. Yeah. Because it is more biblical. Yeah. It's yeah. more biblical. Yeah. Okay. Now, in your evangelism work here in the Philippines, what's the best form or most effective form of evangelism that can reach people? Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, we have gotten uh, many systems. Uh, they are in Lanao since Pastor Billy is my co pastor, mm -hmm. and he's also an advanced thinking person. <laughs> yeah, Pastor yeah. Billy is good. Uh, we have uh, done uh, what we call uh, mass evangelism or, or uh, public evangelism. Uh, oftentimes, we spent 50,000 pesos mm. just for that period of three to four days. Yeah. yeah. Because not only we will evangelize people by using the sound systems and teaching them in our life things, we we'll also give them gifts. Okay. Yeah, gifts. Okay, so people are coming, coming, and coming. Uh, first, they wanted to get our gifts, but as Billy said, yeah, it's okay. Uh, the most important thing is we hear the gospel. <laughs> the gospel. Then uh, we we are trying to uh, no, we are trying to compare it to another system. Uh, we have we we have had uh, open radio program there in our place. We have a radio program. Okay. Then now it was already stopped because of the high cost of the radio. Hour. And uh, as of now, uh, we have, let us say, concluded that we have, let us say, uh, agreed that house to house yeah. is the best, is yeah. the best yeah. strategy. Yeah. Yeah. We, you can talk to a person face to face, yeah. then you can explain to them why, 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 something like this, something like that. So the most important, uh, the most, let us say, uh, effective, as what we have observed on many, many strategies in preaching, in evangelizing, the house to house is the very, very okay. effective. Okay. House okay. to house. So we have so many schedules. Next, next week we have schedules. The chairman, he has schedules in other provinces. Then he was called by the brethren there that there are people there waiting to be baptized. Yeah. Because the, the pastors there are also working. Mm. Yeah, it's mm. good. Mm. Through, through personal evangelism, yeah. I should say. Personal now we have several baptisms happening today. Mm -hmm. How did those people come to the point of baptism? Was it through evangelism or existing young people? Yeah, through evangelism. Through evangelism. Through evangelism. Yeah. yeah. Because we give that we give the we give time for that uh, let us say uh, work yes. for, for that ministry as the important ministry of the church. Mm, mm. Evangelism. Okay. okay. Wow. So as a product I think they are baptizing there now. <laughs> oh, well, we'll wander down in a yeah. 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 I have one final question. Okay, okay. If you wanted to share a message, a few words to your brothers and sisters in the International Ministerial Congress of the Church of God Seventh Day mm -hmm. around the world, mm -hmm. what would you like to share to the bigger Church of God around the world? Okay. So, good afternoon to everybody uh, who happens to see and to hear in this interview. Uh, one thing I could say to the General International Ministerial Congress is that uh, we are happy, we are happy for the efforts you have done. We are happy for the many, many policies that you have made. <laughs> it really helps us here in the Philippines. And uh, my personal, let us say, uh, my personal, uh, uh, what we call this, <laughs> my personal explanation about the, the things happen yeah. is that uh, we, will, uh, we will continue for that effort. Yes. I do believe that it's God's purpose. I do believe that God is happy with that uh, efforts on uh, the people who belong to the International, International Ministerial Congress, particularly you, Pastor John. Thank you for your life that you have also extended uh, your time for the people throughout the world and that uh, could not be paid by money or something. It is only God that can, uh, yeah. that can uh, give you, let us say, uh, comforts for that effort. Okay? Uh, I, I, one thing I can say, thank you. Thank you for the management of the IMC. And uh, as far as the work is concerned, I think uh, I would like also to encourage the brethren here in the Philippines, being one of the, let us say, uh, big uh, population. I'm happy that the management of today, uh, yeah. in person of Pastor John, uh, he is now trying to update, to update the work of the IMC. Then whatever things, let us say, the IMC requested, 
When we will we will try our best to cooperate. Yeah. yeah. Okay, sir. We'll try our best to cooperate uh, to that work for the whole world. Yes. Let us see plans and activities. Yes. Thank you, Pastor. Brother, thank you so much for your time and for your insight and your faithfulness in Jesus. Yes, Pastor. And it's been really enjoyable to share in this conversation. Again, okay. thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So God bless. God bless us.